guys, um, in this video, um, not in this video, but uh, this is part three of Proverbs chapter 11. Um, so if you didn't watch the other two parts, then you need to do that before you watch this one. Or you can watch this one and I understand. But uh, anyway, I'm on a time limit right now. i got to get to bed really soon, so i got to wrap this up. So uh, let's get started. I will talk about it afterwards, but I'm going to read and then we will talk about what I was talking about, what I was, the Bible was saying. Okay, so we left off on verse 8. We left off on verse 7, but read verse 7. So here we go with verse 8. Those who do what are, those who do right are saved from trouble, but trouble comes on those who do wrong. With their words, ungodly people destroy their neighbors, but those who do what is right escape because I mean, escape because of their knowledge. Who, when those do right, succeed their city. Succeed their city is glad. Those who do what is wrong die. People shout for joy. The blessing of honest people. Builds up a city, but the words of sinners destroy it. That is a symbol of our nation. Um, that verse, and I'll get into that after I'm done reading. A person who has no sense makes fun of a neighbor, makes fun of his neighbor. But a man who has understanding controls his tongue. Those who talk about others tell secrets, but those who can be trusted keep things to themselves. Without the guidance of good leaders, a nation falls. But many advisors can save it. Anyone who puts up money for what someone else owes will certainly suffer. But a person who doesn't agree to pay up for someone else is safe. A woman who has a kind heart gains respect, but men who are not kind gain a only, gain only wealth. A kind man benefits himself, but a mean person brings trouble on himself. It's a lot to take in, so let that soak in for a minute. All right, we got we're until verse thirty-one. All right, here we go. Those who do what is right, wait. Those who do what is wrong really earn nothing. But those who plant what is right will certainly be rewarded. Okay. Right living leads to life, but anyone who runs after evil will die. The Lord hates those whose hearts are twisted, but he's pleased with those who live without blame. You can be sure that sinners will be punished, and you can also be sure that godly people will go free. A beautiful woman who has no sex is like a gold ring in a, pig, in a pig's nose. What a godly person, I mean, what godly people wrong, what godly people wrong for, ends only in what is good. But though, but what sinners hope for, for ends. Uh, sorry, what godly people long for ends only in what is good. But those sinners hope for ends only in God's anger. Some give freely, but some give freely, but even richer. But getting, I'm sorry guys, some give freely, but get even richer. Others don't give what they should, but get even poorer. Anyone who gives a lot will succeed. Anyone who renews others will be renewed. People who call down curses on those who store up grain for themselves. But, people, I mean, but blessing makes those who are willing to sell feel like kings. Anyone who looks for what is good finds favor, but bad things happen to a person who plans to do evil. 
Those who trust in riches will fall, but those who do what is right will be as healthy as a green leaf. Those who bring trouble on their families will receive nothing but wind, and foolish people will serve wise people. The fruit that godly people bear is like a tree of life. Okay, let's look at him for a second. people bear is like a tree of life, and those who lead others to do what is right are wise. Godly people get what they should get on earth, so ungodly people and sinners will certainly get what they should get. Now, basically, what verse 31 was saying, last verse, godly people get what they should get on earth. Meaning, in heaven, you're going to get a lot better. That is your eternal home if you are a Christian. That is your eternal home. But, you get what, if anyone's heard that saying, you get what you get with your throw thing. It's kind of like this, but at the same time, it's not. Alright? Godly people get what they should get on earth. To be led by God. But, sinners don't get that. It says, so ungodly people and sinners will certainly get what they should get. Meaning, if they're sinners and, God and ungodly people... Sure, they think they're living a good life now, but at the same time, when Judgment Day comes, they are going to be judged, and they're going to be like, wow, this was real. I should have listened earlier, and it will be too late. Now, <coughs> people, this is a whole other thing, but, so I'm not even going to get into that, but <coughs> what people don't understand is that they think they, ungodly people don't understand, they think they have a good life now, but really, sorry, I'm suggesting, but really, their good life is up in heaven. Her good life is up in heaven. Alright. So, I'm sorry, I got confused there. If ungodly people think that this is a good life, heaven is a good life. If they think that if they if they, if they think that right now is a good life, they're just going to wait and see Okay, if there is ungodly, there are going to be ungodly people in the end time. There's that's just inevitable. Okay, that's going to happen. There is going to be ungodly people. People are going to be damned to hell. When I say damned to hell, I mean condemned to hell. Meaning they will be in hell, and God will shut that gate. That's a whole other thing. But <clears throat> they think it's good now, but it's not going to be good when they get it, when they're down there. Okay. <coughs> So, there you go. So, I'm going to turn back to a verse that should make you guys understand what we're going through as a nation and, a, and as a country right now. Alright, the United States alone is going through something bad. The nation... The nation is going through something bad. 
Percy, stop. Sorry. The nation is going through something bad. This is very a good thing to close in. So, yeah. Um, it is. When those do right, succeed their city. I mean, when those do right, succeed their city is glad. When those do wrong and die, people shout for joy. We know that was wrong verse. I'm sorry. Verse eleven. The blessing of an, uh, the blessing of honest people builds up a city, but the words of sinners destroy it. That shows you what we are going through as a nation and as a country. We are going through one of the worst times we can go through right now. After this, it all gets better from here. Meaning, these are the end times, which will be a whole other thing. Okay, a whole other thing. You don't pay attention to that. But let me just leave you with this. This nation and this country, what this country and this nation is going through, is exactly what this Proverbs is saying. A blessing of honest people will build up a city, but the but the words of sinners destroy it. That's what this says. So just think. Words of sinners destroy the city. They will destroy a nation. They will destroy a country. So, with that being said, <clears throat> we are in the end times. And it's not something to focus on. So, that's just a whole other thing. So, um, let's close in prayer, guys. Heavenly Father, I thank you for giving me the knowledge and the just I thank you for this beautiful day. Um, although it is 12 something and almost 1 o'clock, um, I will hope that today, which if we were talking about tonight, would really be tomorrow, but or talking about whatever, but you know, you know what we mean, Lord. Um, I just pray for all those people's prayer requests out there that are watching this and that people will hopefully understand what I was saying and not just think that I was some kid trying to be an adult, an adult, whatever. Um, Lord, just please help me through these Bible studies that I have with these people. Not only am I feeding my mind, and I, I am also feeding theirs. And I do pray, Lord, that um, you will just give me the knowledge for another great Bible study, hopefully starting tomorrow. So, um, I love you so much, Lord, and uh, I'm sure they do too. Um, and I pray that anyone out there that does not have a or that is watching this video, that they will just, their eyes will be opened by this and they will become saved. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your sake. I thank you so much, Lord, for this channel and for me to be able to express this, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your sake. Alright guys, we are just about out of time. We're going into 14 minutes now. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video from So So Many Things 2000. I forgot to say that at the beginning. But, um, yeah, like, I just hope you guys know that when you guys are going through a hard time, I, will, I hope you know that God is always with you, and that there, sh there will be a Bible study coming tomorrow, a little bit of a surprise for the book of the Bible that it will be in, but uh, yeah, so, if, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope, and I pray, that you guys did get a lot out of this. And this is so, so many things 2000 saying have a good
good day, have a good evening, whenever you are watching this, and um, I'll catch you guys next time or on So So Many Things 2000. I love saying that. Thank you guys for watching. I wish there was some type of music I could have play, but um, the Lord love you, loves you. God bless everyone that watched this. God bless everyone in America.